Hello boys and girls, welcome to your drama lesson with me, Mr. Grossa. It's lovely to be with you guys again. Now, it's time for us, for the next 30 minutes, to have a lot of fun. You and me, we're going to be actors and actresses, okay? So, we need to be thinking about the movements in our bodies, how our voices sound. You, we need to make sure we're warmed up before we do all that so we can really focus, okay? So when you're standing up with me, I thought of two things we can do, okay? Do you like walking? I love walking. I thought we could practice walking in two different places, okay? Now, have you ever seen anyone walking on the moon? Well, they move very slowly, don't they? All the movements are really slow, and I thought that could be a good exercise for us, okay? Because we'd have to really focus on our movements, going as slowly as we can. Now, I know you guys are really good at moving fast, but how good are you at moving slowly? Let's find out. So. We're going to have some music now, and this song is called Walking on the Moon, and we're going to pretend that we're walking on the moon really slowly, okay? Are you ready? I said, are you ready, boys and girls? Good. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now I'm slowing my voice down. Because we're about to walk on the moon. Let's take our first step as slow as you can. One leg. What can you see around you, boys and girls? What does the moon look like? What does it feel like? Is it cold? Is it hot? Slowly moving your legs. What's the biggest step you can do in the slowest time? Very good. What can you see? Oh look, there's a Martian. Let's wave to him really slowly. Give him a big smile. Why don't we try talking to him? Say your name to him. My name is. But say it really slowly. Hello, Mr. Martian. My name's Mr. Grossart. Okay, let's get back to the spaceship, boys and girls. Two steps, big steps, back to the spaceship. Let's go to the control panel at the door. Type in the code to get to the spaceship. There we go. Okay, step back inside the spaceship, boys and girls. And that's it. Well done. Okay, very good. Give yourselves a round of applause. Shake your bodies out a bit. How fun was that on the moon? I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go walking on hot coals, okay? So we've got hot coals beneath our feet. Have you ever touched anything that's really hot? What happens? A hot pan maybe? You've got to be very careful in the kitchen. You touch it and you take your hand off straight away because it's so hot. So, what happens if that was our feet? Okay, you would be moving very fast. And that's the key to this, okay? We've done slow, now we're doing fast. So we're walking on hot coals, and I want you to pretend there's some rocks that you can jump on for, for a little break, okay? But the key to this is moving fast, okay? We're gonna be on our tiptoes. Are you ready, boys and girls? I said, are you ready, boys and girls? Okay then, here we go, let's have some music. Woo! Okay, are you ready? We're gonna go on the hot coals. In three, in two, 
and one. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Ha! Woo! Give me a woo! Nice and high pitch. Woo! Okay. Let's go. On a rock. Quickly, quickly. Woo! Woo! My God, that was really hot. Oh, oh, oh. How do your feet feel? Okay, you ready? We gotta move. In three, in two, in one, and go! Woo! 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 knees, high knees, boys and girls. Pretty high. Woo! It's really hot. Woo! Like you jump on the rock in three, in two, in one, woo! Oh, wow. Really hot. Can we do it? One more time. Are you getting sweaty yet? Woo! Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! We're gonna stop in three, two, and one, and stop. Wow. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, we're all warmed up. Join me in the next section where we're gonna get back to Jack and the Beanstalk. So, boys and girls, do you remember what happened last week? We got to the point in the Jack and the Beanstalk story where we were hiding from the giant. So, let's do a little recap. We'd taken Daisy to market. We'd got the magic beans, even though we should have got money for Mum and the cottage that we live in because we're very poor. Mum threw the magic beans in the garden. They grew up to a big beanstalk. We climbed up. And we went to the giant's castle and we saw that he had a golden hen and a golden harp. And then we heard the giant's footsteps. So, what we're going to do now is play the part of the giant, okay? Now when we're a giant, we're big, we're heavy, we're loud, and our voices are low. So let's do a little practice. How low can you make your voice? Think about the words to describe your giant's voice. What words would you use? Good. I would say the word booming. Big booming voice. Very good. Okay. How does the giant walk? Big steps, maybe like the steps we took when we were on the moon. Ah, oh, yes. Big footsteps. And what does the giant say? He says, Fee, fi, fo, fa. So let's do that bit together. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Fee. Fi, fo, fum. Very good, boys and girls. One more time for me. Three, two, one. Three, five, fo, fum. Very good. So let's do the giant walking into his room, okay? Ready? Here we go. So big footsteps. Giant looks around. He sees his golden harp. He loves the golden harp. Say hello, golden harp. Hello. I love you. Now he sees his golden hen. He loves his golden hen. Give the golden hen a wave. Hello, golden hen. But he's smelling. What can he smell? Smells like a little boy. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Well, at the same time, we're Jack and we're hiding, remember? How scary must that feel? Seeing and hearing a big giant. God, and we're so small. Compared to him, he's massive. Oh, scared. What do we do when we're scared? We hug ourselves 
We tremble a bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, but what we're also thinking is, mm, do you remember our thinking faces? Mm, stroke your beards, boys and girls. Mm, how much money could we get for that hen? And how much money could we get for that harp down the market? Oh man, that would solve all our problems. We'd be rich. Wouldn't have to live like poor people anymore. Wouldn't have to struggle for money. Oh, that'd be so good. Maybe we could take the giant's golden things. Maybe we could steal them and take them back to mum. Yeah. Yeah, let's steal them. But we'll have to move quickly. We'll have to run and grab them and then run to the beanstalk and climb down really fast. Maybe like we'll run like when we were walking on the hot coals. As fast as we can. Our feet don't want to touch the ground because we want to move so quickly. Okay then, boys and girls. So, we're going to grab the golden harp and then we're going to grab the golden hen and then we're going to run to the beanstalk. Are you ready? Got to move really fast. Okay then. Take a deep breath and then we'll go on three. One, two, three, go! Okay, so I'll grab the golden heart first. Ooh, down to this arm, okay? And then we've got to grab the golden head. Run, run, run! We'll grab it. Ooh. Okay, quickly. I think the giant's seen us. We've got to get to the beanstalk. Go! Oh, oh, he's coming. He's chasing us. He's chasing us. Okay, stop there. Now we're going to be the giant, okay? Chasing him. Okay, you're the giant. Suddenly this little kid runs out. And what, do you, what does the giant say? What does he always say? Three, five... Fo, foam! Now we've got to chase the boy or the little girl. We've got to chase him. So, how's the giant run? Oh, he's big. He runs like this. Oh, he's chasing. Come back here, boy. Three, five, fo, foam! Okay, now we're back to Jack. We've got to the beanstalk. We've got to climb down. Ready? We've got a little bag. We'll put the stuff in our bags. Put your bag on your back. Now we'll climb down. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, oh. Climbing down that beanstalk. Quickly. The giant's following us. He's climbing down too. Check how far we've got to go. Oh, oh feeling all dizzy because it's so high up. Okay, keep going. We're going down. We're going down. Oh, and hop off the bottom. Oh, quickly. We need some help. Who do we go for for help? Um, 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 Daisy? Oh no, we sold Daisy, she's gone. Okay, um, think, 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 think. Who can we go to? Yes, we'll go to Mum. Shout to Mum. Mum! Mum! Okay, now you've got to tell Mum what just happened, explain what you did, and then maybe she can help us. Okay, go! Yeah, Mum kind of went up the beanstalk with the magic beans that you threw on the ground. I climbed all the way up, and uh, there was a giant's castle, and I uh, went inside. Um, Stole these things, though, look. What, let's show what we got. We got this. Golden harp, pretty cool. And what else have we got? The golden hen, also pretty cool. Okay, uh, so that's all the good news, I guess. But what about the bad news? Yeah, yeah, the giant's coming. Tell her the giant's coming. What do we do, what do we do? Oh, man, she doesn't look very happy. Um, Wait a minute, she's getting an axe. That's the axe that we use to chop wood. Okay, boys and girls, she's coming back. Now, pretend you're holding a big, whoa, heavy axe. Ooh, that's really heavy. We're gonna chop the beanstalk down, okay? We're gonna get rid of that giant once and for all, and then we're gonna keep his stuff. Okay, we're gonna sell it and make loads of money. Ready? So we're gonna chop the, chop the beanstalk down. Ready, first chop. You're going to throw it over your shoulder and then back on the beanstalk. Here we go, and go. Ready, and go. And another one. One more. But wait. 
Just wait one second. Let's think about this for a second. Let's do our thinking faces. Now, boys and girls, what happens if we chop down the beanstalk? Hmm. Yeah. The beanstalk will fall down, kill the giant. Okay. So let's have a think here. The giant's gone, he's dead, and we keep his stuff. But this is a question, boys and girls. Does the giant deserve to die? And do we really want to kill someone? I'm not sure the giant does deserve it. I mean, we went into his house without his permission. We saw his things and we took them without his permission. What if we asked the giant first? Do you think he'd say yes? And also, maybe the giant's nice, just because he's big and he's probably ugly and, you know, he's got a big voice, doesn't mean he's not a nice person. The giant could be lovely. He lives up there alone. He hasn't got any friends. All he has is a golden harp and the golden hen. And he loves those things and we just took them. You know what? This is all becoming a bit of a bad idea. Boys and girls, let's think about what we should do next, okay? Join me in the next section and we'll think about what we can do to change this situation and do the right thing. I'll see you in one minute. Okay then, boys and girls, so we just had a very interesting twist in the story, didn't we? When we stopped to think about it, maybe we weren't doing the right thing as Jack. We thought that maybe the giant doesn't deserve what was about to happen to him. Maybe he's a nice person. Maybe we should also listen to our mother when she said, sell Daisy for money. But instead that old man came and we got caught up in the magic beans, dreaming of something that maybe what we should have done is just got some money for Daisy. Right, so what happens next? We were chopping down the beanstalk. But we're not gonna do that anymore. We're not gonna kill the giant. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go up and we're going to talk to the giant and we're going to present him with the things that were stolen and we'll see if we can figure it all out. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do the right thing. So, let's put the axe down. Oh. Let's tell our mum what we're going to do. Look, I'm going to go up to the giant and do what we're going to do. Cool. She agrees. She's proud of us for doing the right thing. Okay, so... Let's go back up and climb up the beanstalk. You ready? Let's go. And we're at the top. There's the giant. He is not looking very happy. So, we're going to be the giant now. Now, have you ever done anything wrong and someone's been really not very pleased with you and you've been told off what does the person look like when they're really disappointed in you? They normally cross their arms like this, shake their head, eyebrows are down, because they're not very happy. Does this, sound, does this seem familiar? Okay, so the giant's like this. Three, five, oh, five. Okay, let's talk this through with the giant, boys and girls. Stroll up to him, nice and confident. We're doing the right thing. And when you're doing the right thing, it's good. Okay, so. Excuse me, Mr. Giant. What do we say? Um, sorry. First we say sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. Uh, I went into your castle without your permission. And I'm really sorry that I stole your golden things. It's just that... Well, why did we do it, boys and girls? 
because we were poor, because we were struggling. We didn't have any money. Let's tell him that, maybe he'll understand. We were poor. We were struggling. We didn't have any money. We'd sold our only thing that we had worth any money, and that was Daisy. And she was our pet, and now she's gone. Oh, what can we do to make this situation right? And always apologize one more time. I'm really sorry. Okay, good. So, what happens next then, boys and girls? What could we do? What could the giant do now? Hmm, this, this little person has come up to him and they said sorry. They knew they were doing the wrong thing. And we must be proud of them for realizing the mistake and doing a good thing. Okay, so. Well, the giant says, I understand that you're poor and thank you for coming back to me and trying to figure it all out with me. Maybe I can help you and you can help me. You see, I'm a big giant and I'm up here all alone. I don't have any friends, but you need money and you need to support your family. So what about this? We keep the beanstalk where it is. You can help me with my lovely gardens and around the house. And you can do some cleaning, you can do some gardening, and we can become friends, and I can pay you because I have all these golden coins. And you can see the golden heart whenever you like, and you can play with the golden hen, and if she lays golden eggs, then you can take those down to your mum. And I'll pay you, and then you'll have enough money for your family, and maybe you can buy back Daisy. Well, boys and girls, how does that sound? That sounds pretty good, because instead of trying to cheat our way to get money, we can do the honest thing, we can help out the old giant, become friends. He's lonely, he needs a friend. We can earn money, think how proud our mum would be of us. And maybe we can buy back Daisy, because we miss Daisy so much. Moo! I can hear her in the distance. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay then, Mr. Giant, that's a deal. I'll help you with your gardening and your housework. Pay me in golden coins. Bye back, Daisy. We become friends. How does that sound, boys and girls? That sounds really good. So, let's shake the giant's hand. Now we need to be the giant shaking the, the little child's hand. You've got a big hands, so what do you do? Shake it very slowly. So, boys and girls, over the next few weeks, over the next few weeks, Jack starts to work for the giant, and he really enjoys it. The giant also helps him learn to read and write, because the giant's very intelligent. He looks stupid, but he's very clever. And so, Jack starts to develop all these fantastic skills, and he starts becoming a much better person, and he's really happy, and he's got money now. So, there comes the time where he wants to buy back Daisy, okay? Lovely little Daisy the cow. So, let's walk to the market. We've got a pocket full of golden coins, and we're going to get back Daisy. Let's go. So, walk into the market. Now, who can we sell Daisy to? Oh, yeah. That's the old man. So, well, let's look for the old man. Look left. Look right. Look ahead. There he is. Now let's be the old man. Do you remember how the old man was very slowly walking around with his voice like this say, I'm the old man. Okay, so let's walk up to the old man. Hello, old man. I've got a pocket full of golden coins 
And I want Daisy back. Can I buy him from you, please? Always say please, it really helps. Okay. Oh, for golden coins? Yes, I'll take three golden coins, please. And you can have back Daisy. Brilliant. So let's count our golden coins. We got one. We got two. We got three golden coins. And Daisy! Oh, we've missed Daisy. Give her a big hug. Daisy's going to moo with delight. Ready? Three, two, one. Moo! Okay, let's take her home. Oh, we've missed Daisy. It's nice having a pet around the house. And she's great at giving us milk. Okay, we're back home. And guess what, boys and girls? We've got Daisy. We've got Mum. We've got loads of money. And we've got a new friend in the giant. So, we all live happily ever after. Now, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story. And I hope you can really, really think about all the changes that we made to Jack and the Beanstalk and how hopefully we've made a better version of it. I'm really pleased with what's happened and I'm really proud of you guys as well. Give yourselves a mahoosive round of applause because you have done so well. We've just completed our first story in drama. There's loads more to come. So join me next week where we will do our next drama lesson. But for now, enjoy the rest of your work and always think about what the best thing is to do in every situation, okay? I'll see you next week. Well done.